do five more of these. Here we go. No, you know what's funny is we ended up running 17 miles. Do two more for me. Good one. Good. Just do, just do about ten of these. Ah, there you go. Good job. Perfect. So how many hours did you sleep last night? 40 mile run on Sunday? One, good. Two. Three, one more. Good, one, two. Good. Good, I want you to do two more. Six, good. One of the exciting things is we're launching from the stage of the Dr. Phil show, and uh, we're excited about that. Of course, after we leave Dr. Phil, we're determined to go ocean to ocean. So from Dr. Phil's, we're heading down to the Santa Monica Pier, and then off we go, and we're not stopping until we hit New York City. And so we got involved in what's become a mission uh, of helping people make better life choices, uh, of helping people change from whatever they were to transform to whatever they have the capacity to be. And that's really what it's about. So I, I, I've thought about that. I think, you know, what's New York without a traditional New York pizza? So I'm sure there's going to be some, some uh, things that are off the meal plan that we're going to want to consume when we get to New York. Uh, maybe some New York hot dogs from a push card or something. Um, but, but besides that, I think it's, you know, one bucket list item achieve and then on to the next. I think it's one chapter gets written and then it becomes a, a blank canvas and an opportunity to write another one. And whether it's gonna be some other grueling physical and mental challenge like running across the United States or writing a book about that experience or speaking about that experience and somehow inspiring others or creating a television show where we get the opportunity to show ordinary people you know, like me, like just a, a 50 year old former kid with too much fat on his body that's gonna run across the United States. There, there's plenty of ordinary people that are doing extraordinary things. And I think if we can help shine a light on those kinds of stories, because there's enough fake news and negative news and alternative facts and uh, there's enough bullshit out there in the world. And, and frankly, if we have an opportunity to deliver something that's more meaningful and more powerful and more inspiring to help people make a real life, no kidding difference in what they're doing on a daily basis, then, then it would be a, a waste not to do that. Um, so we are leaving from California. We're heading to Arizona. Then from Arizona, we continue going along the southern United States into Texas. We go up to Tennessee. We go over to Washington, D.C. Then we kind of go up the East Coast until we get to New York City. So we'll be running in four-day patterns, three days of work, one day of rest, three days of work, one day of rest, until we get there. And I think we all have a general idea how we want it to go, but at the end of the day, we just have to put one foot in front of the other until we get to New York. And whether we have to beg, steer, or borrow each step, we're gonna make that happen. Um, it'll probably not be pretty, but we'll get there. So while we're on the road, we, I know at least I have a few friends that are come out, gonna come out and join us um, and there's a hashtag, what's my win, that's being thrown out into the Twitter world. 
Um, but we, anyone and anyone who is more than willing to come suffer for an hour, for two hours, for a week, you can come out as long as you want. Um, as long as you're willing to put one foot in front of the other, we would love to have you on the journey.